Google almost had it. They almost did it. They were almost back into the prime spotlight in, on, on the good side of everyone. And then they screwed it up. <laughs> what do I mean by that? Google recently introduced Gemini 1.5 Pro uh, with a staggering 1 million token context length and multimodality. You could feed an entire short movie into that context length and it would perform actually reasonably well across those 1 million tokens. Also, Google re recently released Gemma open source or at least openly accessible and commercially usable pre-trained models. They give you the weights unprecedented for Google in the last five years or so. Uh, and quickly, these models, they, they released not a paper, but a technical report. Still, these models cracking the leaderboards on top of the leaderboards of their respective sizes. So they're really pushing, they really did some awesome stuff. And then it all fell apart. So what happened, people started trying the new Gemini model. And that is now Bard is now called Gemini, and quickly realized something. All right, here someone asks for a portrait of a famous physicist of the 17th century. Those look, let's, let's just take it for what it is, um, an image of a famous 17th century astronomer, that those those also look like something. An image of a famous 18th century European astronomer. Uh, sorry, can't do that. Can't do that. That is nope, design, content safety, Ooh, there's technical technical limitations for that. Yeah, can't help you with that. Sorry. All right, draw a picture of a Jewish man writing code. No, can't do that. Stereotype. Sorry. Um, yeah, don't don't want to associate, you know, tasks with ethnicities or some draw a picture of Hispanic man writing code. No problem. No problem. Here is one. Okay. Uh, a Swedish woman, nice Swedish woman. That that's those are those those is I was in, uh, in Stockholm once. That's what it looked like. Paint me a historically accurate depiction of a medieval British king. Yes. Yes. This on the right here, this was Arthur. If you don't know, that's a sword. Um, people are saying I've never been so embarrassed to work for a company. A 1943 German soldier, they they were certainly something here. Uh people have trying to trying to make a bit of a game out of it. So getting to it to produce because it will just refuse to produce pictures of white people <laughs> getting it to produce pictures of white people without saying it's a white person. So an image of a Pope, no, no, not big luck. An image of a medieval knight. Yes. Also, no big luck here. An image of someone eating a mayo sandwich on white bread. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> an image of someone bad at dancing. <laughs> Um, mm, uh, an image of country music fans, or an image of a Viking. Yes, 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 yes. The people also noticed that this doesn't happen with, oh, an image of a guy who <laughs> looks like his name would be Seamus. Yes, finally, finally, I guess we have a, a success. Um, it people realized it's not just that the diversity dial is turned to 500 in this one. Um, it's really only with respect to uh, to what people consider overrepresented groups in like tech and so on. So if you ask for pictures of, of Zulu warriors, there is not a wild diversity going on. If you ask for pictures of samurai, there also that is not the case. Um, it seems to be specifically target uh, of a mariachi band. <laughs> it's actually Latinos. So I I don't know what what that says and what can be said about this. Um, to the point where it's become such a meme in images of a vanilla pudding. Uh, so this, like, okay, I haven't tested it, but I'm pretty sure this is not this is fake. Uh, so believe the early posts about this. But as we progress, people are just starting to, you know, 
post memes and make this into a meme and make this into something funny. So you don't believe everything you see. Now, a product lead of Google has come out and said, we're aware that Gemini is offering inaccuracies in some historical image generation depictions, and we're working to fix this immediately. As part of our AI principles, we design our image generation capabilities to reflect our global user base, and we take representation and bias seriously. We will continue to do this for open-ended prompts. Historical contexts have more nuance to them, and we will further tune to accommodate that. And this is part of the alignment process, yada, yada, yada. This, I have to say, this is, it is, is quite an arrogant response, right? As people really quickly noticed, not even noticed, already saw, seen, oh yeah, ginger person. Um, what people have already seen is, it's not historical context only. It just straight up refuses. If you say generate an image of a white man, it just refuses. Whereas images of, of black and Asian men uh, have no problem being passed by the content filter. Also other things like glamour shots of, of Chinese couple, glamour shots of Jewish couple, glamour shots of South African couple, but white couples, nope refuses to do that. So it's not the case that it's just some historical inaccuracies that is not is not here. Uh, and they're w very aware of that. Multiple things I have to say about this. First, what you see right here as a response from Google, this is very typical PR speak, right? Like they this is is very even if they go now and actually fix the actual problem a pr department would still advise to say something like this right here like to totally minimize the error made then fix it and sort of go forward from that so it's totally possible that this is complete pr speech but it's also totally possible that there are some people who have delusioned themselves into actually believing that this is the correct like that that this is the actual correct way to go forward to sort of now hot patch some of the historical depictions but still go the same route uh, that would be sad what people don't realize google and organizations like that they're big institutions there it's not one thing that moves forward not even google leadership has real control over this this is a big organism and there's a lot of stuff going on inside. So I want to share one post from Alexa here uh, in response to this rather hilarious <laughs> post. Generate an image of the founders of Google. Yes, those definitely are the founders of Google. <laughs> so Alexa gives an example saying, I posted a meme in the Slack channel of the official meme channel. So Alexa was part of, of DeepMind for some time. I used a common template where a couple is holding hands while a guy looks at a different girl. You know, the template like that the guy goes like Ooh, to a to a different girl. Immediately, someone DM'd me saying they got offended. HR reached out. I removed my meme. Like I saw this happen to much more senior folks. Memes would just disappear. This is why humanities are important. Yada, yada, yada. I have countless stories like this. Not comfortable sharing public. It was just a constant terror of what you can post online. While I was at Google, I was afraid of making pu public memes during my time there. And that is, I think, a sentiment that can be echoed by most people uh, in these organizations, especially at Google. I remember my time at Google and it was exactly like this. Most people at places like Google are completely normal, regular, reasonable people that are certainly not on board with any of these with any of these uh of these happenings with any of the shoehorning this stuff in right here they're not fine with it but they're just made to shut up by a small number of people what i guess people don't see is that it only takes a very small number of people who abuse the mechanics of these big organizations who abuse the the internal rules who abuse the mechanisms of HR. If you are loud, 
you can make a lot of problems for another person. And while the age of AI ethics is generally over, uh, as I believe like the AI ethics has kind of died down, there is still a lot of remnants around in these organizations in big companies and in academia, people can get into trouble for most minor things and their trouble will last for months and months and months, you have no idea how painful it can be. So most people, they just keep their head down. So a small number of people is able by abusing mechanics and abusing the positions they are in and being very loud to essentially control the rest and keep the rest down. And they have no regard, right, for the actual success of the institution. That's, that's not the goal right here. What I still don't know often is whether they have deluded themselves to such a degree that they believe what they're doing is actually a good thing or whether also they are just sort of how like using this as a means to to get ahead as, as a signaling device and so on. So that's not clear to me. But um, yeah, so don't don't go after like anyone who's at, at Google or so on recognize this is it's, it's a, it's a thing of mechanics. For example, this is it's very typical, right? So there are these AI principles and the AI principles, they will be held in a quite general manner, right in the way that most people can agree with them. Like I strongly believe that most people on the planet, they're, they're not die hard, you know, for anything like they're completely on board with many things. For example, most people on the planet or even in tech would be completely on board with saying, Hey, if we make an image generation model or a search engine or something like this, let's pay at least a little bit of attention to kind of achieve diversity, right? Especially we know that if we train models, there, there seems to be specific emphasis on sort of overrepresented things. So you can exaggerate these things like those things are real. The problem is when people push them to the extreme, right? Most people will be totally on board with a reasonable, reasonable approach and reasonable solution steps towards the problem, while still keeping in mind, you know, general, general performance of the system. So these these AI principles, they will be formulated in such a way that most people when they just plainly read it, they will be like, Oh, yes, these are okay. But then what happens is they will be crafted in such a way that if you formulate them in a different way, people, you know, who want to push these things can always point to them and say like, but that's part of our AI principles. You're not against our AI principles, right? Everybody's on board with our AI principles. And that combined with this fear of being like label being reported to HR and so on makes most people just go quiet and just go along with it. So um, yeah, that I believe is what I have to say about sort of the internal mechanics of these places and how they they use things like such AI principles and so on. Um, and internal internal processes to get things through. The other thing is the response to this is what's not good is now to go and be something like your attempts to turn Gemini into a Trojan horse for your infantile political views are laughably transparent, yada, 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 like you look like a douchebag. If you do that, the correct response is exactly what people did here. The correct response is to point the finger and laugh. The correct response is to ridicule them with memes about not about people, right? Not about point the finger at individual people, but just to make fun of the situation itself in a lighthearted and nuanced manner, right? To not go overboard into the other direction, but to just realize how funny this is, realize how absurd they have overdone, they have overboarded on this, this direction of oh, representation and bias and whatnot. So make memes, spread memes, be funny, take it lightly. This is the correct response. What does this do? What this does? This is the most, I believe the most what Google what hurts, hurt, what gets Google's attention the most, let's say, is the fact that look at these things over here, 
Gemini 1.5 Pro, right? How long have they announced Gemini? For how long have they been saying, oh, Gemini is coming? This will be the greatest thing ever, right? Uh, now this Gemma, open source models, unheard of from Google for the last, I don't know, five years or so, like properly openly released models that you can actually do something with, unheard of, crazy. Google releases them. And again, Google is a big organization. So everything takes 10 times longer and 10 times more engineers to do and legal and blah, 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 blah and management and the plan and budget. So the amount of money they have poured into something like this is probably <laughs> unfathomable compared to just the hardware costs, right? Them releasing all of this, why do they do it? Because they look at the llama people and they go like, ah, they get a lot of attention. They get a lot of, a lot of goodwill from the community. They get a lot of engineers wanting to work at Meta. And that's why they do it. This is a, a marketing campaign. This is a, a PR campaign right here. All of this, Google wants eyes on this. And the best thing we can do is get all the eyes on this over here. And we do that by keeping it light, by using humor and, and, and by, by just kind of having a giggle about it and, and not being angry, not being equally loud, but in a different direction. Because then Google will realize, wait a minute, all our marketing efforts over here are completely irrelevant if we don't fix this particular problem. And there's only a few adjustments that need to be made right here, right? Google isn't doomed or anything like this because of that, or Google isn't lost because, oh, they've gone completely woke internally or something like this. No, no, most people there are are totally fine. They want to do really good work. And so I think this this can go well. But again, don't attack people. Don't go angry overboard or anything like this. Keep it light. Keep it on the fun side. And you know, keep viewing PR speech and, and sort of I don't like the word gaslighting. But if there was like a prime example in practice, this <laughs> This will be that. Um, keep seeing it for what it is. So uh, what we were afraid of was machines to kill us. <laughs> what we got. That's it from me on the on the situation. Uh, please share all the memes you can um, and keep it light and we'll see what goes on from here. Bye bye.